Hey, today we're discussing about the differences between an open or a conventional and a limited slip differential. If you came across this video, it means that you want to purchase a BMW or a car with rear-wheel drive. The purpose of a conventional differential is to transfer torque to each individual wheel on the same axle differently. When you steer to the left, the right wheel will tend to describe a larger circle. So the angular speed between the left and the right wheels when you're steering to the left varies. In order to have different angular speeds on the same axle, we need a differential. Now, when a wheel starts to slip, a conventional differential will tend to send all the power and torque to the slipping wheel. Even if you have grip or traction on the other wheel, if the other wheel slips, the conventional differential will tend to send all the power to the slipping wheel, so you won't have any or poor traction. So here are the advantages of having a custom limited slip differential over a conventional one. Better traction in any conditions. Better sports capabilities. Excellent for drifting. A limited slip differential has a different construction and the most important elements within it are the friction blades, which basically at some point lock the differential. While you drive normally, it acts like a conventional one, but when you start drifting, things change dramatically. The magic comes when you want to drift the car. If one of the wheels starts slipping, the other one will still have traction. The friction forces between the friction plates within the limited slip differential won't allow the differential to send all the power to only one wheel. That's why it's called a limited slip. Now honestly, a limited slip differential won't split the torque and power 50-50 on each wheel, but it will limit them enough so you could have enough power and torque on each wheel. There's a company called Quife which offers a large variety of limited slip differentials, especially for BMW cars. In fact, they have a custom limited slip differential available for any BMW model. As you may probably know, BMW M models come with limited slip differential as standard. So if you have a BMW with a conventional differential and you watched a few videos on YouTube with M models drifting, I wouldn't encourage you to try doing the same. there's a completely different story, so you will probably end up hitting something. It could be dangerous. So if you have a BMW and you want an M experience on a budget, you can purchase a custom limited slip differential from Quaif. And no, they are not sponsoring this video. To drift properly, all you need is around 150 to 200 horsepower and a limited slip differential. You don't need 500 horsepower to drift like a pro. The differential makes all the difference. The price for a custom limited slip differential from Quai, for example, varies from eight to twenty hundred dollars. So basically, if you purchase an eight thousand dollars BMW, you can add a custom limited slip differential for fifteen hundred dollars, and you have a BMW M experience on a budget. Now, limited slip differentials aren't only used in rear-wheel drive configurations. You can have one in front-wheel drive transmissions and even all-wheel drive transmissions. In fact, Renault used a limited slip differential on the Megane RS Trophy with over 270 horsepower. You can't have more than 240 horsepower on the front axle, but if you use a custom limited slip differential, you can slightly increase the amount of power on the front axle. So that's how they managed to put 275 horsepower when they have only front wheel drive. A cheaper way to have a drift car is to weld the conventional differential. So these are the main differences between a limited slip differential and a conventional one. If I missed anything else, please write down in the comment section below. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.